Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, Mac users are familiar with this. This is a Macintosh keyboard. Uh, it's got the USB slots in the back. But this is definitely not a Macintosh computer. This is a PC. Uh, my boss has a Mac Pro. He doesn't like this keyboard. He uses actually a Microsoft keyboard on his Mac Pro. So I said, well, I want to try this out because I want to see if I can get this to work. Uh, it does. This thing works on Windows XP really well. But there's, there's a couple of problems. There's no print screen. There's no number lock. There's uh, and there's a couple other things. Uh, the command, which would be the Windows key on a Windows keyboard, and Alt R swapped. The Win key would normally be here, and the Alt key would be in the other spot. So what do you do? Is there anything that you can do to remap this? Yeah, absolutely. This is an app called Sharp Keys. You'll see that I have certain functions mapped different keys so that when I go to press them later they actually do what they're supposed to do. For example when I hit the ALT key it actually brings up the start menu like that and this one is actually uh, the ALT key. This this serves at the, as the ALT key now and this one serves as the start menu key and you can do this with sharp keys. It does work. It's, it's freeware. I will have this linked in the sidebar on this video so you can check it out. Um, I know you Mac guys absolutely hate it when we put Mac keyboards <laughs> on PCs but hey it's a decent keyboard it didn't cost me nothing I like the way it works uh, and with this utility from randyrants.com sharp keys you can map any key you want you can use all these extraneous uh, F keys I, I have this mapped as print screen now I use this one as uh, the number lock and I haven't mapped these ones out yet but you can do that and you can make it act like a regular PC keyboard so cool beans if you happen to come across it and you want to use it on Windows even if you are a Mac user and want to use this Mac keyboard just make sure to get this app like I said it's in the sidebar go grab it and then you can make it act like a Mac if you want to make Windows act like a Mac or vice versa take it easy